so thank you all for joining. Uh, we are going to be chatting about uh, project management. Um, so I'm Sarah Jaffa. I am a research software engineer at UCL in London. Um, Alessandra here is helping me out today, also a research software engineer from UCL in London. Um, so uh, I have an SSI fellowship this year to look in project management uh, in research software projects, mainly prompted by we'll the RSE one. International that a little bit Survey better? from uh, a year ago now, where mm. they asked, um, what three skills would you like to acquire to improve your okay. work as an RSE? And I we could also the try... biggest, well, one of the biggest ones on there wasn't a language or a new shiny tool or AR. If you look underneath in green, that's actually project management in French. We just um, call which that I think person if over. They so, identified the language project like management would you, be the biggest know. answer here. Um, so clearly, this is people feel like this is a skill that we are lacking. Um, so I did a bit of thinking about why this might be, um, why. Project yeah. management in RSE is a difficult thing. Um, and I think the, the three main problems we have is that RSE yeah, we'll just be one sits second. halfway between two worlds. So we're a little bit like commercial software development, True. and we're a little bit like research, but we're not quite either. So we don't have the big teams and the yeah. hierarchical structures that real software developers, real software, okay. commercial we software developers be, have. But, um, but we are not actually researchers. We have more deadlines than them and more funding restrictions than them, and we can't just do whatever we want each week. Um, so any project management techniques that are aimed at either one of those might not quite fit us. Um, the second problem is RSEs come from varied backgrounds. Some of us have come from academia, some from industry, some straight out of university, some with taught themselves coding on the internet. Um, and people may or may not have had project management training. There may be none. They may have had project management training in some other previous career aimed at some other kind of project. Um, and the third point is sort of a silly one. Um, we are often told that we should all be doing agile. Um, but I'm not sure it's been conclusively proven that that is the best possible way to manage all projects in the world or some sort of cult. Um, and It's hard to really pin down what we do as a project, or is it work to some project and dissertation? Describe it. We can't that project. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then, if everyone can log into this mentee, please. Oh, I'll just. Okay, um, so I just want to see if uh, those things that I just said are true about us in the room. So, in your uh, role, whatever you work on at the moment, which one of these roles do you think you have? Do you think you are in some ways a project manager, a software developer, a tech team lead, or also a researcher, a research lead, or some other role? You can distribute a, the points between them for how much you think of your time you spend in these different roles. It's definitely a case in lots of RSE that in smaller teams we might be wearing many hats, be a developer and a project manager and a researcher at different points in the same project. So far, oh, it's taking a while for the results to come up on that screen because there's a bit of a lag. But but there we go. We can see that most of us do some software development. Some people do some project management. Not many of us act as a research lead or PI, but maybe partly as a researcher. So if you're trying to balance being a software developer and being a project manager on the same project, 
that's quite a difficult thing to juggle and it might blur the lines of what is project management and what is simply doing your work, especially if you're working in a smaller team. If we don't have a professional project manager who only manages, then where is the line between a project management responsibility and just getting on with what you do? Uh, the next question I have is about uh, agile methodologies. So sorry about the slight lag on the screen here. Um, I found in my job that uh, in the job advert it was said I was expected to have knowledge of agile methodologies and we definitely use some of the words of agile in our meetings and in our, you know, we have stand-ups, but I'm not sure I'm actually doing agile <laughs> and I have spoken to lots of people who maybe feel the same. So do you think your institution says that you do agile? Do you think you are expected to do agile and do you think you actually work in an agile manner it doesn't matter what flavor or brand of agile it looks like we have a split that there are some people who even their institution doesn't expect them to be doing agile but some who do but definitely most of us don't feel like we are doing agile there is no one at the top end of the bottom scale Yes. So okay. can people hear me online? I'm assuming that you all can hear me in the room. And thirdly, uh, I have a question about training. Oh, so so, we can try for now. so some of us coming from different um, backgrounds might have had training in any project management techniques training, in a previous a role or about maybe in your group. Infrastructure oh, now we're definitely getting some feedback about how. Sorry, um, uh, Sorry about that. Um, so a training, but a few people have either aimed at software developers or researchers or some other previous career. There are even, ooh, two people have had specific RSE project management training. That is very exciting because I was unable to find any of that. So whoever those two people are, please could you get a link to whatever training you did and put it on the Google Doc because I would like to know what that looks like. Um, a few people have had agile training. Uh, I have noticed more of us said that we were meant to be doing agile than have said we have been trained in agile, which is I think definitely part of the problem. And you can only be expected to do it well if you actually know what it is. But yeah, most of us have had zero project management training. And yet most of us are expected to in some way manage some projects. This might be, uh, we are not formally project managers, so you're not expected to have the training. But I think there's definitely, we need to find a way for RSEs to be trained in project management before they are expected to be managing. Because otherwise you just try stuff and see if it works, which ends up with some very messy projects. Um, the final thing I would like to uh, have a quick look at before we go into the discussion phase is what do we actually think the job of a project manager is? So I apologize for the duplication of tools here, but this would not fit on Mentimeter. So this is on a Google quiz. Um, hopefully you should be able to just click on that link or if not, it is in the Google Doc. Um, so this is just a quick survey if everyone could do just on your own. It lists a bunch of tasks that might be involved in a project, starting a project, running it, and wrapping up at the end. And I'd just like you to go through and say, do you think this is something that is part of a project manager's job or someone else's job? If Try and think about a project that you work on. If there is one where you are partly a project manager and partly a developer and partly a researcher, try and separate it when are you wearing your project management hat are you doing this as the project manager or are you doing would you do this as the researcher or as the developer so that might not be a specific person doing the project management but try and think of when are you wearing the project management hat do you do these tasks so this is just something to go through on your own i will give you 10 minutes to have a quick look through that hello yes question in the room I'm going to come over to you with the mic so that only young people can hear. So you ask how many people in total are involved in the project. Are you asked an average project or just any particular ones? Because there's a range I don't know what to report. Uh, try and think about one specific project you are working on in this case. If you're working on multiple projects, just pick any one. Um, that's just, I'm slightly curious if what we think a project manager should do relates to what sort of team size we work in. So I'm my my intuition would be that people who work in larger projects might be more likely to have a dedicated project manager so it might be more clear on what a project manager does whereas people working in teams of two or three that role might be mixed up 
And that is an important thing for us to know because we are working in smaller teams sometimes and in bigger teams sometimes, and we need to accommodate both of those situations in any kind of training or guidelines. Also, just to note, I would say this is what you think a project manager sh should be doing. Whether you think project managers actually do this or not is a second question, but try and think whether you think this is something is the responsibility of a project manager whether the project managers in your team actually do it or not okay give me a wave if you're still working on this yeah one person two people okay you can always uh finish off in the discussion um so I have those results and I will show them in a second, but just so that you're not sitting around bored while I get that working. Um, we're now going to split up into uh, small groups to have a bit of a discussion because the best way of learning these things is probably to share our experiences and try and see what we do across different groups and uh, learn from each other. Um, so uh, in the room, you could chat around the table, or if you think that's too big a group, it might be worth splitting the tables in half to have sort of six people in a group. Uh, everyone on Zoom, um, if you could go into the breakout room. Um, there's probably a lot of people on the Zoom call who are just not actually remote participants, so everyone else stay in the main room. But if you are a real participant remotely, please go into the breakout room and you can have a discussion in there. It will not be recorded. Um, and people online, I mean, people in person, um, this is currently being recorded, but we'll cut it out of the recording before it goes online. So nothing you say in here in the discussion session will be on the internet forever. Um, so feel free to talk about anything. Um, but these are the three questions I'd like you to answer. Um, what formal project management processes do you use in your work? And have you had any particularly good or particularly bad training or just any training? Um, do you think different techniques, agile or otherwise, work better for different kinds of projects, whether that's time scales, number of people, domain complexity, and what skills, tools, or methods would you like training in? So if we are going to try and create some specific RSE training, what are the things we want that to contain? What do you think would be most useful to us? Okay. Go ahead, we'll come back together in about 15 minutes and then one person from each group can feed back. You can also keep your notes on the Google Doc. There should be some sections that say group one, group two, group three. Claim a section and put your names there and keep some notes in there. And we have a question from the room. All right, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, people should be back from the breakout rooms now. Um, I've changed Wi-Fi network, so hopefully the signal will be a little bit better. Um, please do let us know in the chat if you still have problems. Um, we're going to go for the online group first. So who is your designated report backer? That would be me. Would you like to unmute and tell us a short summary of what you discussed? Yeah, so... Can you hear me okay? Okay, we're getting a thumbs up from Patricia. Yep, we can hear um, you. Cool. Um, yeah, so um, we a few of us use a different, a few different uh, project management tools. Um, some of us use GitLab and GitHub issues. Some use tools like Planner, Monday, Asana. Um, I personally mentioned how I found my team uses Asana, but also GitHub issues and it's quite hard to make those match up um, without just doing lots of duplicate work everywhere. Um, we talked a bit about our experiences with Agile. A few of us had some experiences. Um, we found that for large projects, Agile could work quite well, but then the formalized structure kind of breaks down when you get to a team of just one or two developers. It feels like a lot of overhead for stuff that, um, you kind of you kind of know what you're doing if you're doing everything on your own to an extent um but at the same time um using certain techniques from agile such as like really breaking tasks down and thinking about how long they're going to take um and figuring out the timeline for everything uh, is a really useful thing to do um 
And then for the third question, um, it was mentioned that people would like PIs to have more training in project management. Um, they want to develop software, but then they don't have training on how to manage software development. Um, and that leads to, yeah, so it's sort of lack of, un not sorry, well, lack of understanding or difficulty in communication about how long things are going to take um, and what expectations should be. Yeah, I think that's all I've got. Okay, thank you. Thanks very much. Uh, now we'll go around in the room. If we could start with that group over there, who is your report person? Speak around. Hello from group two. Hope you can hear me online. So uh, we, we also started off with the with a discussion of the different management tools we used. Uh, found that many are too waterfally or too um, restricted to a specific method of agile working. Um, there have been questions around difficulties um, onboarding external contributors to tooling, specifically to those that we pay a lot of money for. And we had a wish list for project management tools that included being able to um, generate bits for the project report from them. In terms of different techniques, we found that especially grants and proposals and what comes from research funders is often very waterfally. They want to be able to track deliverables to measure success in a specific way. Um, but, so it's really hard to, to put agile methods in there. And we also, just to, just to let Eli know that we, we have the same, same thing, that the smaller the project, the more relative overhead you have for project management. So sometimes it's just easier to cancel the whole uh, project management uh, part of the project and just go ahead with the project itself. In terms of uh, what, what kind of training we would like as RSEs or as PIs or as leaders of uh, a research software project, anything will do, anything will help, any training, any method, any tool. Um, specifically for progress and deliverables tracking, there is, at least from my experience, I would, I would really love some training around communication for project managers so that you are able to onboard and work with people um, in the restraints of your project culture. And the hard part is specifically with uh, agile methods that are proposed, um, we need to figure, learn how to figure out what we actually need in terms of project management, and that's difficult. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, can we go for the left half of the back table? Oh, sorry, there's a question here behind you, Marion. Uh, they suggested, hello online, you just suggested that we actually introduce our speakers in the room, so online knows. Good point, yes. Left half of the back table, and can you say your name before you start? My name is Paul. I am part of group six, I think. Um, we spent some time First of all, trying to clarify what Agile is, uh, some of the members of our group needed to, you know, there's been confusion from how the Agile community has defined what Agile is. So different people think about different things. Like if you're doing stand-ups, are you doing Agile just because you're doing stand-ups? Um, so uh, one of us talked about, you know, the different parts of, of Agile, looked at the manifesto and how we contrast that with the classical waterfall, big upfront design. Um, then we spent some time uh, thinking about um, how in classical project management, there's a single, res single individual responsible for how the, the project is done. While in, in Agile, uh, you have the, the teams are supposed to be self-organizing. I mean, that's like one of the ways in which Scrum defines itself. So the tasks are then generated um, by the team within Scrum, while for uh, classical project management, you require the tasks come from somewhere. Someone has to decide what those tasks are. We didn't, we didn't spend any time talking about tools, um, but in terms of techniques, one of the things we were talking about was uh, how in a lot of projects in science, you have a single individual or a very small team such that you know, the individual could have the responsibility for doing the project management as well as delivering on the project. Um, yeah, and is there anything else that anyone wants to clarify? Um, maybe just um, adding one point we had about um, the differences when um, 
uh, different styles work together. For example, if somebody in a research project or a research project team is working together with a agile software development team and the interface often does not work that well, for example, if the, so I had the experience um, that the stream was basically in like in maybe four weeks time you would have that and that was very disruptive to okay thank you uh, other half of the back table who is your designated speaker don't forget to introduce yourself um hi i'm martin from group five uh so yeah maybe i'll do the bits where we actually answer the question first and then get get to our uh, we we got a bit tied up in what what is project management? We need to be a bit quick because we've okay. got five minutes um, until the break. So, yeah, we for, like for tools and, and, and processes, uh, there's, we talked about maybe the distinction between running a research project as kind of project management versus like the day-to-day -day development work. And we tended to focus on the second. Um, so things like GitHub issues, sort of stand-ups daily or weekly, project boards, um, whether on GitHub or, or, or Trello or stuff like that, you know, Slack for rapid communications, some Gantt charts for dependencies and milestones. Um, we talked about sort of what the, you know, sort of what the things the project manager does. Um, so, um, you know, things like sharing stand-ups, arranging conversations with users, being the main contact uh, with the PI, allocating work to developers, um, how often you have a sort of either very non-technical or very technical person doing that role, whether it's a full-time job on a project or whether it's a Interestingly, act. some of those things are the things people most often disagree about on that little yeah, survey yeah. we just did of whether that's actually a project manager's job. <laughs> so, 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 so we sort of felt that in what we were talking about, there were three sort of aspects of that role that you could separate out potentially. One was around organizing and allocating the work. One was a sort of product owner, maybe in industry where it's about a vision for the project, user and stakeholder engagement, or, you know, representing them and the other was a maybe something that a senior engineer or a tech lead might do in terms of providing that sort of how do we build this thing you know what's the kind of latest sort of techniques we might use what does the infrastructure we deploy on it like and, and and things like that um there were a few other things but i think we'll hand over to the next group and thank you you can always add extra points on the google doc or like just come and talk to me in all the breaks because i want to know everything uh front group who is your speaker Hello, I'm Matthew from Group 3. Um, yeah, so I think the I'll, I'll go through the questions, um, which I think the first one was actually fairly easy for us, which was almost universally GitHub projects was, was the tools that people were using with a little bit of some people doing Jira here and there. Um, and pretty much across the board, uh, no or not, yeah, no relevant training for project management um, with a few rare exceptions. Um, in terms of what works, uh, we, we didn't get a whole lot on that. Uh, I think the main ones were maybe put some extra sort of columns in a Kanban board, ones that are sort of specifically targeted at researchers, such as like needs approval or more information. Um, and then perhaps also a technique of showing maybe how previous projects went or, or what a typical timeline is for, for a project as a way to yeah, give, give something concrete to, a re, uh, say, the researcher you're working with, uh, so it's not just some sort of project management from on high. Um, the In terms of, like, things that are needed, um, one, I think, important point w that was raised was about consistency and, and just not having too many different project management tools and techniques, but kind of getting a bit more decided, at least it doesn't have to be the best one, but as long as people are kind of consistent among teams, that will be very helpful. Um, and then another thing that came up was, I think it was raised in another group, which is like sort of the interface between if you're doing project management, but then you're working with, say, someone who isn't, um, and and the sort of kind of disconnect that can happen there and the lack of engagement that you might get from the researcher that you're working with sort of solution. So I think that gets some of our discussion um, encapsulated. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, okay, uh, it is pretty much break time now. So uh, I'd just like to say thank you to the SSI for giving me a fellowship to spend lots of time thinking about these things and collaborations workshop organizers for allowing me to monopolize all of your time for an hour and uh, the UCL Centre for Advanced Research Computing for paying me to do this, which is great. And all of you online and in person for contributing. Um, I think the best way to solve this is just keep talking about it a lot because we have 
enough experience between us, we just need to think about it. Um, there is a section at the bottom of the Google Doc for if you do have any resources. I've put a couple of things in there that I found really helpful. There's some brilliant books on project management in different fields. So please do contribute anything that you have found useful in your work. Uh, thanks very much for coming and enjoy your tea break. Oh, one question in the room. Um, can you hear me OK? Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, OK. Uh, I'll go ahead then and ask my question, since that might have been interference from the other room. Um, it's very simple. The results from the Google survey that we did, will that be sort of shared or advertised? Uh, yeah, I was hoping we'd have a bit of time to look at them in this session, but we've run over a little, so I will uh, put a link on the end of the Google Doc, and I can share that on the Slack as well. Um, and I'm going to write all this up as a blog post at some point as well, and I will put it on the SSI website. Okay, thank you all for coming.